Just came back from a walk. We are having pumpkin soup. This morning I had a little bit with a layer of cheese. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, you hungry? So, husband made this soup yesterday. Hi. And I just added a piece of cheese like this on top. Ooh, when it melts inside, it's so good. Ah, I forgot to put on your... Pretty easy, just some garlic um, in some olive oil and a little bit of ginger and I think about maybe five cups of pumpkin. Mm. Boil them until the pumpkin is soft. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Blend it together. Mm. Mm. With this cheese, it's really... So this is not acceptable. This is my second flare up in only about a month. <sighs> and now I'm trying something new. I always say to eat probiotics, but then I don't know why both times I didn't eat. Did I run out? I think because I ran out of probiotics. Yep. I ran out of probiotics. The one I ordered didn't arrive. It, I don't know, got lost or something. So I have to order that. And this time around, I'm also eating this. Yes, this time around, I'm trying this one, Immunoclown, which has um, organic astralagus root. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard about Th1, Th2. That's like some function in your body. Very hard to explain because I just learned about it from my brother. My brother also had eczema. Saw multiple doctors and then decided to do his own research and cured himself. <laughs> so yeah, he was sharing with me about Th1 and Th2, which is something in your body which has to be in balance. So usually if you have eczema, that means your Th2 is too high. So it's either you bring your Th2 down or you increase your Th1 by eating a certain herbs and things like that. So one of it is astralagus. I'm just sharing shit happens and I'm having eczema. It's so bad. Like yesterday I can't even smile because this part here will crack. So yeah, I'll share with you how I deal with it. I don't know. I'm just picking up a camera to share. Now I have pumpkin all over my shoulder and all over her cheeky face. Um, yeah, so when you have a flare up, try to get out, walk because it really helps. So baby is sleeping and I just want to quickly share with you my skin condition. Um, here it's like weeping and swollen and then here too. And then also here. Um, I think the other day it was already triggered by some red wine I had. Then it started. And then I changed. I tried a new skincare because I thought the one I always use, um, it's hard for you guys to get somehow because um, it's only in Germany and Switzerland, I think. And I saw this other brand and the ingredients look pretty good. Uh, the Badger brand, I'll show you in just a second. I think in addition to this new thing I use on my face, that could be the reason for the bad flare up. It's like, hmm, maybe I missed something because it does have essential oils and my skin is pretty sensitive to essential oils even though it's organic. The ingredients are actually really really good. I mean besides essential oils which isn't bad for some people but somehow for my skin is pretty bad. I think somehow having eczema on the face could be more difficult than before when I had eczema everything below my neck because um, I'm not a very self-conscious person in a sense that how I look, I don't like to conform. But <laughs> with eczema, it's quite hard because when people look at your face, talking to you, because people have to look at your face and then you tend to think, oh, are they looking at my rash? Is it disgusting? Is it ugly? Anyway, also about my skin condition, sorry it's all over the place because I have so many things to say, but it's not structured. 
um, my skin when it weeps, it has this smell. It might sound a bit disgusting for those of you that does not have weeping eczema. Uh, it's a smell that I will not like, hey, ask somebody to smell it. But it's like metallic smells. So that's that. And yeah, talking about this TH1, TH2. Uh, I took a glance yesterday after my brother told me because I was like, hey, how did you heal yours last time? Because I had my own journey and his is very well researched because he really, really reads into it for me. It's just sharing my experience. Anyway, I want to share a little bit more about TH1, TH2 because I realized that it's really in line with Ayurveda as well. Like I mentioned before in my foods to avoid, healthy foods to avoid when you have eczema, one of it is um, lycopene which is in tomatoes and in Ayurveda, tomato is also heating so that's something I say to avoid which I have not been avoiding throughout the winter because my husband makes this very nice pasta sauce and we've been eating it really often because it's really easy to make with pumpkin and then I've also been making brownies like every single day although they are healthy brownies cacao is heating in Ayurveda and it's also a TH2, high in TH2. So eczema is a TH2 problem, it's too high. This is new information for me too. So I'm not an expert, I'm just sharing um, for something, maybe it's something you can look into as well. Yesterday I had quite a high dose astragalus and I think today I do feel better. So I'm gonna eat again today a high dose and hopefully in the next few days it gets better you know foods like curcumin which is uh, turmeric i always have a little bit of gastric or some stomach discomfort every time i eat it but it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory so i thought it's good for eczema but here it is listed under th2 stimulating compounds caffeine green tea um, lycopene the tomatoes um, what else? Curcumin, quercetin, I've never really had that. And yeah, a couple of other things. Resveratrol, um, I used to have that actually during my very big eczema. But I didn't share it because I thought it made it worse. And now it makes sense because it is TH2 stimulating. Okay, now we go... Oh, so itchy. Don't scratch. So now we go to what stimulates TH1. If I want to speed things up, I think increasing TH1 will help. This is just my experience. It's not medical advice, yeah. This is just what I am doing right now. So today I will increase my um, immuno, Immune Calm, the one I showed you. I got it from iHerb. Uh, I really trust that brand. That's why I went for it and I think it helps. So inside it has astragalus. So another thing that's um, reducing TH1 is Echinacea. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's pretty famous for people with allergies, I think. And then the next one is lemon balm, Melissa officinalis or something like that. Um, they sell tea for that too here in Switzerland. Or you can get it like drops. I remember that really helps for my, when I have a sore, like an ulcer. Uh, I like this drath drops. I don't know if you can get it, but otherwise just get any lemon balm that's organic or wild crafted. Chlorella, grapeseed extract, and but maybe I'll stick to astragalus and see if that worked. The, otherwise, I wouldn't know what's working. Also, something called glycerizza, found in lake rice. Panax ginseng and medicinal mushrooms like maitake here it's written i'm not sure if reishi works as well but i've been having that in my brownie for extra nutrition but maybe no more brownie for a while at least today i can smile but i look horrible i know oh so i don't know if this video is helpful i hope it is um just to see that everyone's on a journey and you have to take care have balance a reminder to be more balanced, especially during stress times, like with a strong-willed toddler. So if you're a mom, it can be stressful. Mm, just try to find as much chill and balance as possible, especially if you have a strong-willed child 
or your child has eczema, that can be stressful too. So mm, I wish you well. Try your best not to care so much how people are looking at you because sometimes maybe people don't even notice. And even if they do, what can you do? You can't feel better staying in. So go out for a walk, um, smile when you can. That's your best accessory. I think it's easier for me when it was the body because I can still smile and feel better. You know, sometimes when you smile, you trick your mind. So everything feels better. And now with this cracking, it's hard to smile. So I think that is part of the problem as well. But anyway, wear your smile, keep your head up, healing is coming. Healing is always happening. Let's do this! <laughs> yeah, baby? So finally, baby's down. I just want to show you today the whole day, right? I was just putting on aloe vera. This is not very moisturizing because I noticed when I put oily stuff it actually makes it more itchy like creams and stuff but it was cracking so bad like here it's really bleeding so i just uh put hey not this one i put some castor oil and i don't know it was itching a little bit on the cheeks but now it feels much better i'm gonna keep doing that tomorrow as well and until it gets better I think. Just a quick update on my skin. Um, it actually feels a lot better. Last time when I had this flare up, it took at least three weeks. That's why it felt like barely a month ago. But actually it started um, maybe two months ago. It took about three weeks to really get better and even then it's not better. Now it's like wow. So I'm pretty impressed by the immuno, immune calm astralagus and it has something else inside marshmallow wild crafted marshmallow herb or something like that so that's really cool i'm really glad and the castor oil kept it good too so i think this will be my routine in case i flare up again hopefully not and now that i know about this balancing thing so this one is still a bit painful, but the cast oil really helped it from cracking even more. Take your time. <laughs> 